This is wildlife biologist Eric Orr from my New Hampshire Fish and Wildlife YouTube channel. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. I haven't been doing that lately, but uh, Christmas tree still up here. As you can see, it's going to come down in a day or two or less, I guess. So it's the beginning of 2020. This happens to be January 2nd, 2020. So uh, in the new year, we often reflect back on the last year, or in this case, because we're in the new decade, I thought I might reflect on the last decade what has happened as far as fish and wildlife in New Hampshire uh, and kind of jog my memory and see how things have changed. You know, I have worked in New Hampshire as a wildlife biologist for nearly a half a century now and I have seen many changes and a lot of those have happened in just the last decade here in New Hampshire between 2010 and 2020. So let me, you know, check my memory. These figures might not be exact, but they're, they're within a reasonable number. Well, white-tailed deer, our deer herd. We, you know, we just wrapped up a deer season here a few weeks ago, and we know that 11,000-something deer were killed. What, the, uh, the, 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 like the fourth highest ever on record. So not a record deer kill, but a very respectable deer kill for us here in New Hampshire. So the deer herd, let's just look back a decade. I'm thinking around a decade ago, we were at or just under 100,000 deer, and now I believe the estimated deer herd is over 120,000 deer in New Hampshire. So basically four times the number of deer uh, in New Hampshire than we, uh, we Fish and Game, estimated in the early 80s. So, uh, you know, a shift here over the last decade of 10,000 or more deer in the, in the population. Bears, bears were closer to 4,500 or so a decade ago, and now I believe the current estimate is closer to 6,000 black bears here in New Hampshire, up from 1,000 when I first started in the 70s or early 80s. Uh, bald eagles in New Hampshire, this year there were 72 pairs, and I think 48 of them were successfully raised young eagles. I, that, I think, has more than doubled the number of nesting Eagles in New Hampshire has more than doubled in the last decade. Out at the Isles of Shoals, where I helped restore uh, terns, common terns, I think there was something like 2,000 pairs a decade or so ago. Now there's over 4,000 pairs of common terns, plus there are roseate and arctic terns, federally threatened terns, now nesting on the Isles of Shoals each spring and summer. So a dramatic increase in population there. Turkeys, this morning I had <laughs> 30-something turkeys here at my bird feeder, and I throw out corn and crap corn and whole corn along with my bird seed. To, and I've got, you know, a group of 20 or so, uh, 12 or so blue jays that come every day that I feed, and uh, along with that I feed the uh, the local turkeys. And uh, the turkey population, I'm thinking around a decade ago, was closer to 30,000, and I think the last figure that I heard from Ted Walski was closer to 40 or 45,000 turkeys. And of course, in 2019, the, the fishing game department increased the bag limit on turkeys in the spring from one to two. So the turkey population has increased enough over the last decade to double the, the season bag limit on turkeys. What else has changed? Uh, I know piping plovers down on the coast. There was a record number of hatchlings, you know, six or seven or eight nests this year, more than ever before. Uh, other birds that uh, have changed. I think the ducks are relatively stable. I don't see any dramatic change there. Resident geese, those numbers are probably up. There was you know, thought to be 30-something thousand resident geese in New Hampshire a decade ago, and that's probably closer to 40,000 or more today. So more geese than ever in New Hampshire. Uh, down on the coast, though, uh, the, the river herring uh, have, have thrived. Uh, other things have not done well, so some things have not flourished in the last decade. Rainbow smelt, uh, as our, the Gulf of Maine has warmed and our rivers have warmed, our rainbow smelt population has diminished dramatically over the last decade uh, here in New Hampshire. Uh, the uh, Northern shrimp, which is a commercial species, you know, for years we could get buy local shrimp in the in the winter time here in New Hampshire, and that population has completely collapsed. So not everything has increased. The northern shrimp population has collapsed off in the Gulf of Maine in the last decade. Uh, 
other fish, I think, are, are uh, Atlantic, the effort to restore Atlantic salmon to the Merrimack River has uh, been uh, canceled. Uh, that was uh, despite 20-something uh, years of efforts to restore Atlantic salmon to the Merrimack River. Uh, that was abandoned in the, within the last decade, so they, didn't, uh, they did not increase in numbers like had been hoped. So some species are, you know, have gone up. Bears are moose numbers down dramatically, you know. Uh, probably more like 4,000 or 5,000 a decade ago. We're down to around 3,000 or 3,300 today as our winters have shortened and the moose have taken a uh, tremendous hit in the North Country from winter ticks and the numbers continue to decline. Uh, so our moose numbers are down as well. So yes, deer, bears, turkeys, waterfowl, uh, bald eagles, peregrine falcons, they, we have, we have uh, more than a dozen pair now, that's up from eight or ten a decade or so ago, so falcons are up as well, so falcons and eagles and bears and turkeys and deer are all up and a few things are down, so uh, it's been, for some species, quite a dramatic change over the last decade and it's uh, looking forward to see what happens over the next decade here in New Hampshire.